Time now for sports, and it's beginning to feel a lot like the playoffs on Friday Night Fever. Team 12's Cameron Cox live for us at our game of the week, a big playoff matchup between uh, two schools, Payson in uh, Paradise Honors as well. Cam, how's it going? I think you're zip you pulled your zipper up a little bit there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jonathan, come on. You know, I'm cold anytime it gets below 60 degrees out here. It's a beautiful night out here at Surprise. Paradise Honors hosting Payson. Big time 3A showdown. Now, 45,000 people voted in our Friday Night Fever game of the week. This game won with about 25,000. Miss Domingo right here helped pulled it off here at PH. She's the home ec teacher here. At, and and Miss Domingo, how did you rally the troops out here to get everybody to vote? So um, I'm a volleyball coach here as well. And one of the things that I focus on is um, just trying to get the kids to support each other. So uh, one of the football moms, she sent me the link, and she knew um, she could count on me. <laughs> so um, I just told the kids, you know, we've got to vote. We've got to support the football players. And, you know, I may have gotten a little competitive, timed myself to uh, see how many I could vote in one minute. Got up to 25. <laughs> so, of course, they all had to beat me. And, you know, we did it. There we go. Perfect. Well, thank you so much. You heard that the first teacher to ever to throw out a competition on the vote right here on the FNF. Paradise Honors, one of the best stories out there this year in high school football. They won their region. First home playoff game ever out here. Uh, first time they've been in the playoffs since 2016. Their quarterback, Gage Baker, leads all of Arizona with the passing numbers right now. Tonight should be a lot of fun. I spoke to both head coaches just moments ago. Uh, we're excited, man. The boys are excited, worked hard all week. Um, they're ready for tonight. What has made this team special? Obviously, you guys got Gage and one of the best quarterbacks in the state, but what has made this team special? Uh, the players, they believe in each other. They're a family. They came together up, uh, over the summer um, and at camp and kind of got that family bond built this year, and um, that's kind of what's carrying us. Um, they believe in each other and believe in the guys in that locker room. So it's, it's playoff time. What, what do you tell you guys now? Uh, you know, it, it, it's uh, you know it's a tougher sell, but every week we talk about going one and zero and and taking one game at a time. You guys made the long track from Pace. Tell me about that community. How special it is to to represent Pace? Oh man, it, it is beautiful. We had uh, team dinner at a at a local restaurant last night. They comped our our whole meal. It's it's uh, amazing, amazing the, the support that we have. In fact, on the way in, just coming out here, we had uh, police escort teams, you know, guys coming up and and the whole. Uh, Whole town kind of shut down the middle of town, honking and and blowing confetti guns and stuff at us. So uh, it's a great community. Um, these guys go above and beyond for for their Longhorns, and uh, we're out here to make them proud.